I was demonstrating. I was just a, I was pretty much of a novice too by then, you know, uh, when I first started off. And I was demonstrating up in the San Francisco area. And I think we were somewhere in like San Mateo or something like that. And um, it was kind of a home show or something I, I was doing. I was kind of like an apprentice, you know. So we were making juices and everything else. And we knew that Dr. Garnett Cheney from Stanford University Medical School had an arrangement to go to Alcatraz Island and work on some of the prisoners that were incarcerated and I guess there's a propensity of having stomach ulcers, you know, the, the locked up in a cage, so to speak, and then they worry about their family or whatever and, you know, their life has gone by and they start to, to burden themselves with all kinds of these emotional upheavals and that's what really kicks in the ulcers a lot, plus maybe not eating right and whatever, the food was, wasn't doing them any good. Anyway, um, Dr. Garnett Cheney at Stanford University asked me and another fellow, another, another guy that you, I used to demonstrate with, a guy called Frank Ashworth, you know. He, in fact, he taught me a lot about juicing and about how to demonstrate juicers. And uh, we went over, we had an appointment to go to Alcatraz Island and work with some of the prisoners that were incarcerated. And I was just a novice, I was just starting to demonstrate juicers then. And we went there and start making cabbage juice. Because Stanford University found out that cabbage juice with Garnet Cheney, with their medical doctor, found out that raw cabbage juice freshly made would cure almost all stomach ulcers, if not all, you know? So peptic, duodenal, whatever kind it was. So uh, they asked me to go there, because Cheney didn't know a lot about juicing, but Frank Ashworth and I start making juice. We went over there and worked in the prisons, went into, went into their mess hall and set up a juicer, had a couple of them with us, and got the carrots and the cabbage and uh, some leafy greens and everything else and start making fresh cabbage juice. And we found out, we found out, they did a heavy survey that cabbage juice cures stomach ulcers. And that was Dr. Garnett Cheney, C-H-A-E-N-E-Y. And some people, some of the prisoners couldn't hold the straight cabbage juice down. They'd upchuck. It would, they'd regurgitate because it was kind of weird going into their body. So we would, we composed what we call the three C's, cabbage, carrot, celery. So uh, mostly cabbage juice, but a little carrot and a little, a little celery to mix it up to keep it palatable. And... Dr. Cheney found that, and it's been written in a lot of annals, uh, medical annals and everything else, about the cabbage juice itself would cure stomach ulcers because of a substance called acid glutamine, glutamic acid, I suppose, you know? So the cabbage with its, with its amino acids and uh, the acid glutamine healed almost every single ulcerated patient that they had in there in a matter of seven to 10 days, and they never had another. And, th and these, were, these were guys that were, that were heavy, heavy duty uh, ulcers, even bleeding ulcers, hemorrhaging ulcers. And we found out that that cabbage juice would just about cure every single one of them. And that's been written up in some of the medical books and all that. Raw cabbage juice freshly made for people that have stomach ulcers and gastric problems, I suppose, you know? So that was very important. And what, what I found out when I was with him there, I, I was the one that started putting carrot with the cabbage, carrot, celery, and cabbage, you know, just mixing that combination. As long as they had the acid glutamine from freshly made cabbage juice, we knew that it would take hold and help them immensely. And I'll never forget, that was a long time ago. That was 1949, I suppose, 1950, you know. It's amazing. 